Okay, y'all, this is the gibberellic acid. This is what it's used. It's got to be kept refrigerated. I wanted to show this. I had a lot of people ask questions about it. It does have a lot of uh, basic info on it and warnings. So when you purchase this, you get a lot of information with it, but I suggest you research it before you purchase it. And I'm a farm and I do a lot of seeds, so this big amount was perfect for me, but wouldn't be for somebody else. So I wanted to share this. Uh, this is the company name, United Nuclear Scientific. UnitedNuclear.com. There's the phone number. And this is 16 ounces, 473 milligrams. You may not need that much. I mean, I, I wouldn't, you really don't need that much. So if they have a smaller or maybe a powder form, it might be better. But make sure you learn everything you can before you use it so you don't ruin the seed and such. So I had that same warning given to me. So anyway, I wanted to share that with you guys. The snow's starting to melt and it's still really cold out here. But I wanted to go check on the greenhouse and uh, see if some of this stuff is sprouting and then I need to get in that greenhouse and get to planting. But uh, it's really chilly right now and <laughs> I am not a winter person. I don't like being out here in the cold, so. Uh, but I need to go check on it. We'll talk at y'all later. I hope this helps. Okay, guys, it's snowing. Look at the pretty snowflakes. But it is cold. Fur. Okay, so let's talk about this gibberellic acid.